It's going to take a village to replace the production of Daniil, the real deal hunter who's out for the season with a torn pack, but the Vikings will try to do it in-house as Kenny Willekes, the 2020 former seventh round pick, looking good. Johnny Tryhard, aka the Rudy of this football team, Rudy, 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 and Vikings defensive line coach slash co DC and assistant to the regional head coach Andre Patterson hyped up the Michigan State alum on Wednesday. He said this quote: "I think if you talk to any of the players, offense or defense, and you ask them who's been the most impressive guy out there in practice, I bet you his name would come up a lot." Talk about Kenny Willekes. Woo. And, of course, practice. We talk about practice, man. But this coaching staff does put a lot of credence into practice. Plus, you do have to look good in practice to get onto the field on game day with these coaches. So it's a good thing that Kenny Wilkes is stepping up. And maybe he's going to get a chance to step out in a couple of these games the rest of the season. Let's talk about the best former Spartan on the Vikings roster today. Kenny Wilkes, background, 24 years young, 6'3", 264, former walk-on in Michigan State. 2018, his redshirt junior year, was the breakout campaign. 20 and a half tackles for loss, 8 sacks, named Big Ten Defensive Lineman of the Year. 2019, 78 tackles, 10 sacks, 48 pressures, named their team MVP. Ended up as a two-time first-team All-Big Ten and also won the Brandon Bullsworth Trophy for the best former walk-on. Combine, some twitched up in the broad jump as well as a nice bench, but fell to the seventh round because he didn't have the length that the NFL decision maker snobs are looking for on the edge was on injured reserve all of his rookie year and impressed enough in preseason, especially that Colts game, to notch up a practice squad spot. Willekes was a practice squad call-up against the Cowboys and played 16 snaps, but will have the opportunity to play a lot more now with Hunter out and Weatherly in Denver, especially if DJ Wanham continues to be just okay like decent not blowing up but just okay uh could be a major opportunity for willikus as well as patrick jones the second aka according to zimmer baby everson griffin so cool there and i do love me some kenny willikus like if you can find some michigan state tape he is the guy just getting after a girl number 48 grinding getting after it and he is a the quintessential uh stereotype of the lunch pail uh gritty gutty type player out there and he could make an impression like he could get out there he could make a couple of plays and i think that he could contribute in spurts now well do i think that he'll be an eventual future starter on this team i i doubt it but could he be a, a decent high-end rotational piece on the vikings defensive line for the next couple of years yes i think he could secure that type of role aka a a couple of years ago just like weatherly uh his first stint uh, around and for a seventh round pick which both a and weatherly were and willikis is that's a great return on investment. That is a great uh, get for the Vikings in that spot. So I'm rooting for Willikas, man. Uh, uh, again, the Rudy, Rudy, Rudy of this team. But your thoughts on our thoughts. Kenny Willikas looking good in practice. Talk about practice. But let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Venmo, support the work. Pay that demand his money. But until next time, Skull, production value.